Um, Hibernia is a real estate investment trust. It acquires largely income producing uh, commercial that's office property in the Dublin uh, area. Um, it was floated in December 2013, um, it then had another capital raise about 10 months later. So it raised in total around about 650 million euros. Um, and it has spent the period since then investing that plus its committed uh, debt facilities. So it's, it's largely, it's, it's approaching fu being fully invested. I mean, headed by a very experienced management team who, who do have years of experience in the Dublin market. It's very simple what they do. They acquire income producing properties, they redevelop, they refurbish, uh, and they improve the attractiveness of the, of the properties and therefore the rents that tenants are prepared to pay. So their rental income stream has actually risen very sharply over the last few years. Since uh, March 14, I mean, the key yardstick here is NAV per share growth. Since March 14, it has actually been very significant. Uh, so NAV per share has risen over 40% in the period to September 16, and there is further growth to come. So this has been quite a compelling growth story um, and largely fueled by the economic backdrop, which is uh, a, recovering, a recovery in the Irish economy, um, Dublin office-based employment is now back at peak 2007 levels and rents have been rising. So it's, they've basically ridden the wave. Okay, I mean, the, the, the situation with their portfolio is that there is plenty to come from the portfolio they've assembled. They've, um, their current rent roll uh, so that's contracted rents they're currently generating. So this is at September 16, that's the interim stage. That was around about 46 million euros a year. They have some vacant properties which they can rent out. Um, they have committed developments which are going to come on stream over the next uh, one to two, to, two, to two years. So rental growth is likely to rise from 46 million euros a year to approaching 60 million euros in the next uh, 15 months, and then up to 70 million euros in the next two or three years. So it's a very strong rental growth story. And that in turn, in turn is driving cash earnings, it's driving EPS growth, it's dr driving dividend growth, and it's driving NAV per share growth. So it is a solid growth story. The shares are currently, it's, this is a euro uh, denominated stock, so the share price is currently around about one euro 24 cents. The latest reported NAV is around 1.35, um, a euro 35. So the discount is around about 8%. However, that discount will have widened in the last uh, six months, five, five months, um, because as I said, uh, because of NAV per share growth. Um, the historic dividend is yielding around about uh, just over 1%, so it's not huge. But the dividend is anticipated to increase very sharply over the next uh, two, three years, and it's likely to rise to around about 5 cents a share. So the implicit yield, if you locked into it now, is around about 4%. So it's quite, it's an attractive, attractively valued share, this. The, the key risk factor with this one is clearly the Irish economy. I mean, if the Irish economy, which is now has been growing very sharply, and as I said earlier on, um, employment is high in Dublin, broad take up of demand by broad take up of, of office based demand. If the Irish economy starts to falter, then that is the key risk factor for this share. Uh, and there is a sort of feeling that the you know, the main recovery and growth has already happened in, in the Irish economy and that the expectation now is for still economic growth but at a reduced rate.